today we're going to be going over the crew dashboard functionality that is released for those customers who have Staffing Plus. We have previously had an assignment dashboard and what this does is allow the labor coordinator to look at all the jobs and all the roles per job and who's assigned per role. They can show unassigned roles and fill those and they can assign roles from this page also. The difference between that and the crew dashboard is you are looking for who is currently assigned and on what jobs in comparison to what jobs do you have, what roles do they have, and who's assigned to them. It's just a different way of looking at your crew, your crew pool. If a contact has multiple crews that are overlapping, you'll see this larger area and we can expand that area and see all the different jobs and what roles that person has per job. In this example, we can also see these lighted, highlighted areas with the plus button as you hover over them. This allows the user to take this job that is longer and cut it up into shifts. So in this example, we could say, Jordan is gonna work on the load in for this job. We could call it day one by default, or we could give it a name for the shift. And we could change, okay, she's gonna to need to show up at 9 a.m. and go till five. With that, now you've got this partial square as a child element to the larger one. And then you'll also notice the color went to more of a candy stripe instead of a solid color. We can do the same functionality and add a shift, name this loadout. And they're gonna show up at maybe noon to load out. And now let's take this other job and create a separate load in and load out for that job. And with this scheduled, you will not see any conflicts during those two times. So this is the crew dashboard. Again, it allows you to see all the people scheduled and a Gantt view chart of all those schedules and even break up shifts for jobs within this page.